some that should have been done about the bullying before a child lost his life. Today, a special target date investigation, cause of death, bullying. Good afternoon, I'm Tyler Emery. Residents are speaking out after a coroner's inquest found bullying as the cause of death for a Missouri teen suicide. His cause of death is being changed from suicide to homicide, and his former boss is charged with involuntary manslaughter. KMUH Shanna Grove is here with the latest target date investigation. Last month, I covered the inquest where jurors found bullying led to Kenny Sutner taking his own life. They said it happened at work and at school, saying the district followed policies and procedures but was negligent in preventing bullying. Now the town is divided. One man told me a group of people boycotted a local business because one of the employees testified at the inquest. Another man said testifying likely played a role in someone losing their job. To the people who knew Kenny, there is no dispute. It's just the kind of kid you just fall in love with. He was one of the kids where he'd give a shirt off the back for you. You could tell he'd go out of his way to do anything for a friend. But Kenny was facing struggles many kids across the country endure. He'd share me that he'd be called names. He'd tell me he'd, they'd tease him about his ears and things. He had a lisp, but um, they would tease him. I remember him saying about um, a couple of the teachers, how they were down talking and they would tell him he was worthless and he was ugly and fat and stuff like that. He was this type of kid that he just didn't want to bother nobody and be, you know, he just, he just held it all in. They tore him down to the point that he didn't think he was worth being here anymore. As a result of the inquest, a great divide lies between some residents in the city. The division I see a lot after the inquest, I got the cold shoulder because I, I was on the stand. With Kenny. I feel like there, uh, uh, just because an inquest was conducted, the town should not be divided. I think that, you know, some people were mad because it happened. Some people were glad because it happened. As I began working on this story, one parent wrote to me, people are scared of retaliation and says, I don't want my kids to become targets, but please, please keep trying to expose the truth. I beg you, there is a problem. It's real. But it doesn't stop there. The division also lies between some families and the school. Why would a 17-year-old boy want to take his own life if something was done about it? Our school doesn't do anything about our bullying. Like, they say they do, but they don't really. You can preach a bully policy all you want. You can post papers. You can wallpaper the school in a bully policy. You have to enforce it. And it's, I don't feel like it's being enforced. I feel like Kenny would still be here with us today if something was done. I hope to see that it brings light to a lot of people and that they realize that it's an issue. I mean, not only in Glasgow, but everywhere. In Missouri, there's a hotline for people to report school violence, and I requested its telephone and online report data since 2014. In Missouri, there were 778 cases of bullying and harassment reported, and in Glasgow, there was only one reported case. A release from the Glasgow School District states it is seemingly not enough for the district to adopt policies and procedures to prevent bullying, not enough to train staff and students on bullying prevention. The district must prevent every instance of one student bullying another. With due respect to the inquest jury, no school district can satisfy the standard. <laughs> how, how would Glasgow be responsible for a student take committing suicide? That's, that's ludicrous. I, I, I just got done saying we do all the policies, we do all the training. Even the jury found that the district followed all its policies and all its procedures. A Glasgow parent sent us an email from the school stating students and school personnel have met recently to discuss bullying. Tonight, we'll be looking more into liability and this idea of being held responsible for another person's death. It's a story you'll want to watch to learn more about the laws on bullying and harassment at schools and work. In addition, if you want to learn more, now we've put together an interactive story for you on our website. You can click on the logo image in the story to find extra videos, like from the school's attorney, and other photos and documents from the story. If you or someone you know needs help, Call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. In the studio, Shanna Grove, KMU8 News.